Good morning. We are still in South Dakota and this morning we are gonna go on a hike. We've been looking forward to this hike and it was brisk this morning. I'm saying like I'm in a t-shirt right now but it's kind of cold and I guess being by the spring brings in a lot more cooler air than if we were like per se on a mountain or something up here. Probably wouldn't be as cold and it's windy but hey it's good for a day of hiking. The hike we're gonna do today is Black Elk Peak and it is 7.9 miles. We're gonna drive to the trailhead and I can give you more information there. But it is in Custer State Park is yeah. where the trail starts and then you start hiking in to the National Forest and then you do go into a wilderness which is Black mm -hmm. Elk Wilderness and it's uh, named after a native that was in the region in honor of, of that native. And it's part of the Sioux Tribe, is that correct? Thanks, Sue Tribe. I think that's what Francis said. So yeah, we'll gather all the information when we get to the trailhead. We did manage to get up a little bit earlier this morning. We got up at seven, even though it was so cold. You know, if you tent camp, it is very hard to get out of bed in the morning when it's freezing cold, but we made it. It's early. 10 o'clock, which is early for us to get out and go. <laughs> now, if it was warm outside, we would have no problem getting up early like in Pensacola when we went fishing before the sunrise. Oh, we, woke up at five. we got up at five and we're up. We're up and at them. It was easy. You know, when you sleep in a tank top and you got a fan rolling, it's easy to get up in the morning. Especially this morning, the alarm went off and we both just looked at each other and then <laughs> I didn't I even look at you. I was like, mm -mm. I just pulled the blanket back over. I was like, mm, I didn't up. even look at you. I was like, mm -mm, no. It's cold. No, no, ain't that important. But yeah, so we want to do the hike 7.9 miles. I know we're going to gain 1,300 feet of elevation. So we're excited. All right, let's get on the road. beautiful was that drive coming in so that's the beginning of the needles highway we're not going to do that on this vlog we'll try to do it later on but it has these spears of granite that just shoot straight up in the air but the black elk loop takes you to the highest point east of the rocky mountains which is 7152 feet above sea level and we're going to be starting at 6160 feet and like kelly said we'll be gaining 1357 feet of elevation and it, how many miles was it honey 7.9 miles so this will be the longest hike we've done yeah, but we're working our way up we are but it won't have as much elevation as the last hike we did so we're gonna finish packing our bag that we take with us which we're carrying two bottles of water water filtration system not sure if we're gonna run up on any creeks uh, we have a couple of snacks and camera gear that's pretty much it so this is the lake sylvan that i was saying there was a lake up here it's really pretty a lot of people paddleboard kayak fish all kinds of fun stuff we're walking towards it because we're going to go use the potty before we get on the trail oh and to enter the state park you can get a day pass for seven day pass for 20 bucks yeah it's one to seven days 20 dollars or annual pass i think was 70. here is the lake uh -oh. 
All right, so we are gonna take this trail counterclockwise. Looks like you can go either way, but we're just gonna follow what it says on the map, which way the arrows point. This is the recommended route, and it didn't give a reason why it's the recommended route. Yeah, and sometimes on the hiking app, it'll, it'll give you a recommended route, and it won't. Yeah, so this is Cusher State Park, and it does a big section down here. But we're up here at this little section. We'll start the trail. Then we'll go into Black Elk Wilderness, which is all this here, up to the high point right there. Let's get cool. going. So I keep seeing these flakes, and I've been seeing them when we drive around in the rock. It's very, very fragile, but that's what it looks like. And it's like paper thin. It's crazy. But it's shiny as all get out. Yeah, it's super shiny. I thought it was trash at first. Yeah, or glass, I don't know. Let's see if y'all can see it in the sun. There are raspberries everywhere. There's some here. I wish that I would have brought a Ziploc bag and collect some. <laughs> there was a bunch back there, some there, there, there. There's a bunch out here. Yeah, we've been passing a bunch. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. It's one of the best tasting raspberries I've ever had. Wow. So the features here are pretty neat. All these pillars you're seeing are old magma. But before those were here, there was a low-lying sea with dirt. Sediment created limestone. Then at some point, there was a volcanic activity. The magma came up cooled, created all that granite. And then, whenever the Rockies were being formed, the Pacific Plate was going under the North American continent. And when it got to the point where the Rockies were, the Rockies pushed straight up. That's exactly the same thing that happened here, was the Black Hills got lifted up. The low-lying sea was pushed away as the ground continued to increase in height. And then, whenever erosion started occurring, because there was a little mass thanks to the granite, so it pulled away the top layer of weaker rock, like limestone, in the very center of the Black Hills area, exposing all of this granite here that you see creating the beautiful formations that look like needles hence the name needles highway which is right south of us right now what's really neat is the badlands area is a part of what was on top of this area everything that eroded from here went east created the badlands area but now there's erosion of the badlands and this smooth granite you see takes a really long time to erode that's why it's still here i think they said every 100,000 years is an inch of erosion. And that's why they chose this rock outcrop to make both Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse Monument. Now that we've entered Black Elk Wilderness, we just realized that the wilderness borders the Mount Rushmore National Memorial, and it's very peaceful up here. A lot of pine trees, some spruce or fir trees. It smells really good. Yeah. All right, we're getting somewhere. Yep, so we're at the loop point, so we'll take this way back to Lake Sylvan later, but we're about to do a spur 
out and back. That is on the black, to the Black Elk Peak. Yep. Woo. Okay, so this lookout, well, first of all, this peak, I'm reading it off the plaque behind me. This peak is elevation 7,242 feet. This peak is the highest point of the Rocky Mountains, east of the Rocky Mountains, and west of the Pyrenees Mountains of Europe. So that's some pretty cool information. I didn't know about the Europe part. Yeah, it's a little plaque here. But this little, this is a lookout tower that was built in 1930, 1939. It's pretty impressive. And yeah, it's very impressive how it's built here. And then of course the views from both directions is pretty awesome. So I think we're gonna try to kill it rest of the trail. Cody's gonna finish some jerky. I love jerky. But if we see anything interesting, we'll let you know. But as far as we know right now, we're just gonna book it back to the truck. So we have plans this afternoon. We're gonna go to Francis and Tim's campground that they're doing camp post at. They are cooking burgers tonight. So we're really looking forward to those hamburgers. We've been talking about it for a few days. So we do have to get off the trail because we have plans. We'll just see you back at the truck. All right, we're back at the truck. Ooh, what time is it? It is a solid 2.44. Wow, we finished that early. I think we started like 10.45, I'm just gonna guess. Now, I think we're gonna head back to camp. So we'll see you at camp. We got back to camp. I did yoga, almost fell asleep in a chair in the sun while Cody was doing yoga. <laughs> so I forgot to get the camera out. But now we're in the truck. I think we're gonna go ahead to the campground. So we've been sh taking a shower at the campground. If you haven't noticed our shower tent up back there. So we're gonna go ahead and head to the campground, take a shower. And then by that time, I'm sure it'll be, it's like, it'll be five o'clock, 5.15 ish. So then we can hang out have hamburgers. Now they actually, they as in Francis and Tim, actually cook hamburgers 
for everybody in the campground now. It's, I think it's $10 a plate. You get a burger or a hot dog, baked beans, coleslaw, or if you want chips, you can like substitute one or the other for chips. I love a good grilled burger. Anyway, I'm really super excited and I want to take a shower, but I'm tired. Oh. But we're going to go. And Tim helped build the shower. Very uh, yeah. nice. Yeah, so this bathhouse is brand new. They just finished, re they didn't build it, they just remodeled it. But he did lay most of the tile in there and it looks so good. It's a really nice shower. It really is. I'm looking forward to it. It's one of those showers you look forward to every day. I think we're about to lock it up and head that way. Now that I'm showered, Cody's in there. I went to go check. There's no one in the women's restroom. So I wanted to show you the tile work they've done. Now this was already here, but they redid the whole thing. You walk in, you got men's and women's. So it looks the same in the men's, but this shower is amazing. Look at that shower head. So there's three showers, three toilets, and it is fabulous. Now this is called Larson's Cro Crooked Creek Campground. And if you have a tent, the tent sites are over here in this grassy area. So you have to walk your tent in unless you're in one and two. And then we're just parking uh, tent site one. They said we could park here to come shower, no big deal. Also they have cabins that you can rent. They have a lodge. I'm gonna show you the lodge right here. And all the different camp spots. I was gonna take a walk here over this bridge that is brand new as well, if you can't tell. Okay, there's the other tent sites and the parking for the other tent sites. Oh, there's more over here too. And there's stuff in the back as well. There's more RV spots back there. Some really nice RV spots with decks that go over this nice little creek and a grill. Very, very nice campground. Now, like I said, tonight is their burger and hot dogs night. Francis and Tim just came down here on their golf cart and they let us know they were about to get started on the burgers. So as soon as Cody is done, we're gonna go park next to their camper and then we'll get the party started. All right, so Cody already took off, but Francis is gonna give me the royal treatment on the golf cart. Hi there. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I want to cook Ooh. hamburgers. You want to jump on the back? I'm good. Where am I going? We're right down to the first road. First road to the right. Look what the, we got company. We have company. Ooh, that smells good. We're here. Cody's still walking somewhere. Ooh, hiya. Hey. <laughs> well, as Cody would say, howdy, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all, real quick. That's the where they're doing the burgers. They're also gonna have live music here. But I wanted to walk across here. Remember I told you about the, the platform decks? This one does not overlook the creek, but it's close enough and I wanna show you what it looks like. This is literally uptown high rent. So where I'm walking right now, you would pull up and you park here. You have electrical hookups, all that good stuff. But look at what else you get. You have an outdoor kitchen. Look at this grill, a sink. Look at this, a, a wine bar, a refrigerator, and look at this fire pit. And you get a grill. Amazing, this is gorgeous. Tim is over here grilling up some burgers, doing his thing. Tim, do you know what you're doing? I fly by the seat of my pants. I like this <laughs> I think we're about to get us a burger and try it and see how it is. I don't know what I did here. I got ketchup, I got mustard, I got banana peppers, and tomatoes and pickles. Mmm, love banana peppers. I do too. Man, look how pretty yeah. Kelly's looks. <laughs> That's one thing you'll never see Kelly cook as a hamburger. I know. I'm not really good at that. I guess that's gonna be something I have to cook in the future. Mm-hmm. 
or one bite. Cause I got to change. Thank you, Tim. My lovely wife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's only my second time to drive a golf cart. So you've never driven a golf cart? I did a minute ago. <laughs> Angel Prince is here. Drive me around camp. Yeah, you'll ask, do, do I ever drive? I'm <laughs> driving right now. <laughs> she drives. She drives. I need to get some chapstick. <laughs> All right, we're refueled. I got chapstick, lotion. <laughs> and I don't know why she needed me to come with her. Cause you had the keys. I was handing you the keys. I just wanted you to ride with me. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> We didn't realize it got dark, but I think we're gonna go home. The hamburger was very good. Baked very beans good. were very good. Potato salad was very good. Chips were good, but we're tired. We had a long day today. Timmy did such a good job. He good did. job, Timmy. <laughs> That's what Francis calls him. Yeah. I kept calling him Tim when I first met him, and then I heard. Yeah, she calls him Timmy, so. so I guess I'll start calling him Timmy. Uh-oh, light's going out. Oh, light. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're back. However, we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.